dramatic prom makeup tutorial but I did it with a little bit of a twist because it is inspired by my favorite Disney princess which is Jasmine but I took inspiration from her as a princess and as a character to make a very dark smoky cat eye look for you guys for prom um, and I just did this because I thought that it was beautiful and a new brush line came out and I really want to talk to you guys about it because it has really awesome brushes in it but I'll talk about that more in the video. If you guys aren't already a kiddo and want to join the fan be sure to hit that subscribe button right down there or you guys can also click subscribe right here and you know join the fam because I upload twice a week. As always if you guys ever recreate one of my looks or feel inspired by one of your favorite Disney princesses be sure to tweet them to me and also hashtag Disney Beauty and the hashtag brush with royalty. Alright let's get on to the video. So the first step is to apply some sticky tape onto the side of your eye. I just really like doing this because it will give me a precise edge and I don't really have to think too much about where I'm putting my eyeshadows and stuff like that plus it also gives you a really nice guideline for your wing. So I'm going to prime my eyes with Max Pink Chili Paint Pot. So actually all the brushes that I'm using in this video are with a new line of Disney Princess makeup brushes and sponges and it's a collection from London Soho, New York. London Soho, New York was kind enough to provide me with all of the brushes for this tutorial as well. So I'm taking this one from the Ariel collection and I'm just going to use this to apply it from the lid up to my brow. Now, let me just talk about these brushes real fast because they're seriously like so awesome. These are really, really good for everyday use and as you guys can tell, some are multi-sided, which is seriously the best thing ever. You guys always ask me about really affordable brushes too and these are super, super affordable because these are only between $9.99 and $14.99 and they're only available at Walgreens and Walgreens.com. And you guys know that I also try my absolute hardest to always get you promo codes and stuff, so I got you one. So if you guys click the link in the description box down below and type in Royal One, you guys will get one dollar off your brush set either in store or online there's like a bunch of different kinds of brush sets and my personal favorite is the jasmine one which is obviously what I'm inspired by because of like the whole cat eye and like really dark smoky thing I think this would be like her night out look because she's so freaking fabulous so I absolutely love jasmine's and she's my favorite brush set right now too um, but yeah I just want to mention those brushes because you guys always ask me about what brushes are affordable and what are good and I definitely think these are spot on Alrighty, so moving right along, we're gonna go in with the Naked Basics palette. We're gonna take this like round domed brush. This is from the belt collection. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this color right here called Naked 2. And then we're gonna work this into our crease. And this is a transition color. Please do not forget this one. It is so, so important. I promise you guys, this is like the blending eyeshadow of it all. So you do not wanna forget this step. Now I'm going to take this fluffy shader brush and I'm going to keep this clean throughout the whole tutorial and this is going to act as my blending brush. So I'm just going to blend out that transition color. Again, this has no color on it. Now I'm going to go in with this eyeliner from MAC. It's in the shade Slate. And I'm just going to line my upper lash line. This can be pretty messy. It doesn't really matter. Taking this angled brush, which is also from the Bell Collection, I'm just going to drag this up a little bit, and this is just going to deepen up the lid and make it a little bit more intense, and also give the eyeshadows a base. Going back in with that dome shaped crease brush, I'm now going to go in with the Nudes palette by Maybelline, and I'm first going to mix together these two shades right here, focusing a little bit more on the darker one, but also grabbing the lighter one. And this is just going to go all over the lid. And then we're going to slowly start to work this up towards the crease of the eye a little bit. Alright, so once we get to the crease, we're then going to go in with the lighter of the two and just put that right into the crease. And then we do make this darker as we put the glitter on, but this is just the starting point. Now I'm going back in with the Jasmine set and I'm going to take this like flat side. This is synthetic fiber, so that's good for what we're going to do with this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the OCC Glitter in the shade Slate. Two things were named Slate. That's so weird. You guys know that I, like, hate these glitters. I hate them. Um, but I figured out an easier... Oh, there was huge lightning right there. Anyway, I figured out a really, really easy way to use it. And maybe that was my only issue. Is that I use it wet instead of dry. And it tends to work a lot better. And I also don't put down glitter glue. And it works really really well I don't really know why but so you could use fix plus or water I'm just using water because I ran out of fix plus and water is free <laughs> fix plus is not dip my brush 
in the water and then dip it in the glitter. Tap off any excess so that it doesn't get onto your face, but if it does, I got a sponge to clean it up, don't you worry. And we're just gonna start packing this on the lash line, working it up towards the crease. But we're not gonna take it all the way up to the crease because these don't blend. They're like the trickiest glitters ever to use. And you have to really, really be patient with these glitters and just build them up because honestly, like they are the least user-friendly glitters I've ever tried. Oh, I just got a snap it off. I'm a really hot guy. I'm in a great mood. Closer I get to my crease, the less and less product I have on my brush, which will give it just a gradual fade. Okay, so I think that looks good. I'm digging it. Put away your water and close the lid on your glitter so it doesn't go everywhere. Just gonna take off the tape and you have a gorgeous, gorgeous edge. But if you guys are anything like me, you normally get a little bit of glitter on this inner corner. And this line also comes with sponges, which is really cool. They actually have four sponges all together, but this one, I chose this one for right now because it has a really 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 defined um, point so I'm just going to go on the inner corner and get rid of any of those extra little glitters and I wet this before so it's not taking anything off it's just helping blend it together now we're gonna go in and do eyeliner and my favorite eyeliner recently has been the Tarte Clay Paint Liner in the shade black and the Jasmine set has a um, fluffy brush and then it has a, oh, why am I drawing a blank on all the names? It also has like a small defined liner brush. I love this one, so I'm gonna be using it. These are my favorite. Quickly just gonna add a little bit of mascara. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Mascara. With the look this intense, you definitely do need some fake lashes. So I'm gonna go in with the Demi Ardell's 120s. These are my favorite lashes. I'm like reusing them from like a long time ago because I reuse all my lashes. Alrighty, so now the lower lash line is really, really naked, so we need to fix that and clean that up. So I'm just gonna take Slate again once by MAC and I'm going to line my lower lash line with this and then I'm gonna go in with that angled brush and blend it down so I have a really, really smoky lash line. Taking the two grays that I used in the crease, I'm just going to also put that on the lower lash line and smudge that along where I put the Slate gray and smudge it down a little bit. Once all that is placed, I'm just taking a clean brush again and smudging this down as much as possible. And since we do have a little bit of an awkward gap from the lash line, you could keep it like that. You could add um, a pop of purple in there. You could do gold. You can do whatever color you want. I'm just going to go in with a black. And this is a water liner from M Cosmetics. And this is in the shade Black Knight. I'm then going to flip it over because it's convenient and has a smudge brush. And all I'm going to do is smudge the liner that I just put in the water line onto the lower lash line. Once I have that as smoky as I like, I'm gonna go in with some Lower Lash Mascara, and this is the Clinique Lower Lash Mascara. I'm gonna go in with this Tarte Showstopper Palette and then take my favorite highlight of all time and put it underneath my brow bone and then pop it on the inner corner. So for the cheeks, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this brush, this is from the Ariel Collection, and I'm just gonna stay in this palette because I love this palette. And I'm gonna take this bronzer, it's the Park Ave Princess Bronzer. All I'm gonna do with this is contour my cheekbones, and you guys can see that this gives a really, really defined, um, what am I trying to say, contour line, which is the bomb.com. So once I have that on there, I'm just going to feather it up. I still haven't opened that Hot Kids Snapchat. I'm just going to wipe that brush off, and then I'm just gonna use this to buff it in. Then I'm gonna go back in with this sponge and just finish up blending the rest of the contour out. All right, so it looks really harsh on camera, but like in real life, it is blended out. The camera just adds a lot of harsh dimensions. I'm then gonna go in with this foundation side of the brush and I'm going to take the highlight and I'm going to mix it just a little tiny bit with this blush. And what I'm gonna do with this is just place it right here on the apples. This just gives like a really nice princess glow, I think. And then for the rest of the face, I'm just gonna go in with the highlighter because I'm obsessed. 
and just pop that on the cheekbones. Literally just put a lot on. For lips, I'm really feeling a super, super dark lip. So I took this one by Ulta. It's in the shade Elusive. It's one of their matte lip creams. Um, you guys can do a nude pink. You can do a natural shade. You can do really whatever you guys want for this. I just think a dark purple would be so pretty with this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also before you leave, don't forget to hit subscribe because I upload on Thursdays and on Sundays. Don't forget to watch this video right over here as well as add me on social media such as Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and Snapchat. And I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. See ya.